In the last few months, we have seen so many smartphones launching in India under 10,000 rupees price tag. Today, we have yet another smartphone from iBoomi, the Inelo One. This is the one of the most affordable smartphones with a notch. So, let's unbox the same. The Inelo One is the first smartphone from the series Inelo from iBoomi. Uh, this smartphone is available on Amazon for a price of 7499 so let's see what and all we get in the retail package of Inelo One so let's open the box the first thing that we get is the Inelo One smartphone which comes in the black color so let's keep it aside we have a screen protector inside the retail package that's nice we have a warranty card going further in the package so we have SIM ejector tool we have power brick this is a standard 5 volt 2 amps power brick so no fast charging fan and we also have a headphones in the retail package that's a nice thing so lastly we get micro USB cable uh, one weird thing about the Inelo One smartphone is it doesn't have a 3.5mm headphone jack. Instead, the device ships with an earphone which has a micro USB port. And we haven't seen these types of earphones in a long time. So, if you want to charge or want to listen to your music, probably you should use these earphones. And if you lose these earphones, you might land into some trouble as you might not be able to buy these earphones in the market. Oh, if you look at the design of the Inelo One, as I said earlier, the phone has a notch display with prominent amount of bezels on the top and bottom portion of the smartphone. On the back, the phone has a polycarbonate build and a rear facing fingerprint sensor with a single 13 MP camera. On the bottom portion, the phone has a speaker and a micro USB port and the main microphone. The SIM tray and the power button are located on the right side of the smartphone where the volume wrappers are on the left side. Let's open the SIM tray to see whether it has a hybrid slot or a dedicated micro SD card slot so as we expected it has a hybrid slot so you can use two sim cards or a sim and a sd card at the same time let's boot the smartphone to look at the some of the ui elements of the in a low one I got a nice haptic feedback when I press the power button so it does have some juice as you can see there is a yellow logo there is a bottom writing called powered by android this is the first boot of the yellow one as you can see it runs on a custom android operating system if you go to storage this is a 16 GB model and almost uh, 5.6 GB is being used for the internal storage so the space that you get is around uh, I can say 10 GB the phone has a 5.85 inch HD plus that is a 720p IPS LCD display with a notch cutout on the top it does have a prominent amount of chin on the top and bottom portion of the phone still the phone has software navigation keys this amount of bezel could easily have opted for capacitive navigation button to offer more green real estate but that's not happening here so let us set up the fingerprint sensor and look how fast it is if you go to security and passcode we have fingerprint sensor let's type in my super secure passcode unlock screen add fingerprint so let us register it let's lock the phone Let's press on the fingerprint sensor. So, it is not the fastest fingerprint sensor that I've used in a recent time, but it does work. It seems like the Inelo one also has facial recognition, so let us set up the same and see how it works. So it's registering my face as you can see. Even for face registration it's taking longer time. So it has successfully registered. Let's lock the phone and unlock it. Now 
The face unlock does work, but it seems slow. The smartphone is running on the custom operating system based on Android 8.1 Oreo. It has 2GB of RAM, 16GB of storage and has a 3000mAh non-removable battery. It doesn't support fast charging. The phone is powered by a MediaTek MTK6737H quad-core processor uh, which is clocked at 1.3GHz. This is the entry-level processor from MediaTek. We should do fine for the basic tasks like calling, texting, watching YouTube videos etc. However, we have to test out how this phone can handle actual gaming or other high intensive tasks. The phone has a 13 megapixel primary camera so let's check out the actual camera interface and or the actual image quality. So let's take a snap. So it does have manual focus, click to focus. The image doesn't look that bad considering the fact that this phone retails for 7500 rupees. The phone has a 5 megapixel front facing camera uh, which is standard uh, you know it can do 720p video recording and other selfie center features like bokeh effect, uh, face unlock etc. This was the unboxing and the first impression of the Nello One smartphone. We will be covering more details about this phone, the review, camera review etc in the upcoming video. For more amazing tech videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Vivek signing off.